Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 11th, and right now we're looking at the visible slash infrared satellite imagery. You can see the sun rising across the lower 48, making its way towards the west coast here. And what we've got here is a sea surface temperature overlay. You can see the much warmer water across some of the tropical areas, and there's that spin here now. Tropical depression, Hova, post-tropical storm, Hova, I should say, as it's now over that cooler water. It's lost its deep convection. It's just kind of a blob of moisture drifting to the west, but it is still spreading some moisture back up over the southwest USA. We'll take a look at those details here in a moment. And here's the sea surface temperature anomaly. So you can see our developing El Nino with the tongue extending out across the equatorial Pacific. And across the West Coast here, things are still above average. You know, Early in the season, we're dealing with some pretty chilly water across California. It's still chilly, but it is above average for this time of year. A few pockets of some below average there and out from Hawaii extending off to the east. Now, looking at the upper levels, mid-level actually, for water vapor loop, you can see some of that moisture being spread back up over the region, and it could produce a thunderstorm even out across some of the coastal regions as well. SPC has that thunderstorm outlook across some of the Sierra Nevada, but don't sleep on it. You could hear a couple claps of thunder here as we go through the day today. More on that here in a moment. And here is probably the last time I'll show this post-tropical cyclone Hova out there, just now a tropical depression, moving off to the west. If you want to save 10% off on a nice affordable home weather station uh, to record all this crazy weather we get here on the West Coast of the USA, click on that link down below to save 10% off. Stores all the data for you in the cloud. I highly recommend this very accurate weather station. This day in SoCal weather history, September 11th, you can see 1916, 2012, dealing with that thunderstorm activity, usually the headline maker for this time of year. Now looking at the GFS, you can see that slug of moisture that was Hova and that's drifting off to the West, but it is still spreading some back up over Southern California, Nevada, Utah as we go through the day into tomorrow and maybe again for Tuesday afternoon as you can see across some of the Sierra Nevada as it pushes off to the east and you can see that moisture really getting out of the region here to eventually join the westerlies and try to come back towards the west coast of North America at some point but you can see we get a break but then through the extended it looks like we might try to uh, build another trough here or drop another trough down here across the west coast that's what we're going to be watching here over the next few days again to see the spin in the atmosphere here more on that here in a moment here's the her 3km 12z run take a look at this lightning potential here and as we go through the late morning and early afternoon then to the evening here as this pushes off to the east cannot rule out some thunderstorm activity here so if you hear some lightning or if you hear some thunder actually yeah you're hearing the lightning but it's not going to be a big flooding threat or anything but kind of typical of what was going on the last couple of days here across the region and you can see they have that thunderstorm only off across some of the higher terrain there but don't sleep on that across southern california and day two something similar again the sierra nevada targeted there as well looking at the european yesterday afternoon's run put this into motion and what we're looking at here is this ridge building over the pacific northwest you kind of get this weak upper level low hanging around the coast of california keeping things seasonable here but if you go out far enough towards the 8 9 10 11 day period you can see this trough start to develop here we'll take a look at the gfs next but this is kind of what we're going to be watching here the next few days because this could bring some precipitation into the area but right now it's still a fantasy forecast here's looking at the gfs so this is the similar map here 18,000 feet, about 500 millibars. And you can see the ridge build, good agreement there. Upper level low, somewhere near the California coast, but not too strong. And then as we go to the extended forecast, again, it's fantasy right now, but it's something it's interesting to watch. This trough looks like it opens up on both the European and the GFS as you go through the week plus time frame here. So we'll be watching that over the next few days and see how that forecast evolves. If we look far enough out, you can see it does have the potential to bring some precip. There it goes. You see it start popping up across some of the higher terrain of southern central california maybe this year nevada nevada arizona utah here as you go out through the week plus period but it's just purely a fantasy forecast we're just kind of grasping at straws right now and yeah we'll monitor that over the next few days here's the six to ten day temperature outlook upper level low maybe keeping things near normal for southern california here but the above average signal here for a lot of the west coast and here we go six to ten day and maybe some precipitation signal starts showing up a little bit here for some of california but we'll watch that as we go for the next few days smoke not doing too bad unless you're in and around some of these fires but at least the sierra nevada is not burning and air quality index is good across much of the region here of course except for southern oregon and northern california here Looks like some of these fires are starting to bounce back again since we got that upper level low that brought the flooding to the burning man and a lot of the desert areas in las vegas and here is the her the 3km this is looking at surface smoke and you can see it bouncing around out there it just 
it can get nauseating dealing with the smoke. I know how it goes as you go through the late summer and early fall period and you're still dealing, dealing with forest fire smoke, just kind of praying for rain at this point. But yeah, you can see it bubbling around here, but Sierra Nevada, of course, not doing well. Most of the area doing quite nicely, except for Northern California and Southern Oregon. So sorry, wish I had better news on that front. And anyway, I will be doing an El Nino update. I'm waiting for the update to come out. It should be out today where we get new data. And I'm just kind of waiting to do that, put the finishing touches on it. We're going to explain the circulation across Pacific Ocean, La Nina versus El Nino, what we can expect for Los Angeles, for Seattle, all the West Coast out here. I'm going to show you some maps and look at the general El Nino circulation and how it affects things here across the West Coast of North America. So anyway, I hope you guys are liking these videos. I'll do my regular briefing tomorrow. Hopefully that El Nino data comes out during the day today and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.